was another San Francisco spot, this time a restaurant. Definitely recommend checking it out. All right, jumping into the action, there's a limb from under the gun. I make a light open from the low jack with 810 of diamonds, and it calls from the button and under the gun. Three ways to a flop of 984 rainbow. Under the gun leads for 45. I think he can be doing this with a variety of hands that include some nines, of course, but also hands such as jack 10, 6, 7, even occasionally pocket sevens. I put in the call. Button folds, and we go heads up to a turn of a four of hearts. He continues the aggression. Same bet, though, $45. I'm still not a believer, I call. River comes in ace of spades, he checks, and just enough showdown I think, so I check back. He tables, ace nine of clubs to take it down. Too loose of a start by me, and I'm going to try to tighten up. Next hand, there's a limp from under the gun. I raise a 25 from the cutoff with pocket kings, and only the under the gun calls. Heads up to a flop of 884, good flop. When she checks, I see about 25, and get called. Turn comes a seven of hearts, putting up a flush draw. Checks once more to me, $60 this time, and I get called again. River comes, a jack of hearts, under the gun checks once more. Can make an argument to check since it's hard to find a target. However, I try to go for some value, 140, and after some deliberation, she check raises the 400. Just gotta let this one go. She was nice enough to table her hand, pocket eights for the flop quads. Straddle pot in this next hand, first to act limps, I raise the 40 from the button with jack 10 of clubs, blinds, and the straddler call. multi way to a flop of ace 10 deuce rainbow, checks to me, with my exact hand I think it's fine to split between checking or betting, I choose the latter. $60, tightest player at lucky chances in the small blind calls, everyone else folds. Pretty much done with this hand unless I improve, turn comes a 7 of clubs, action checks through, river comes a 7 of hearts, Action checks through again. Small blind tables, ace eight of clubs to take it down. Hand immediately after, it's another straddle pot. I raise a 35 from the cutoff with king jack of diamonds, and I get calls from the button and big blind. Three ways to a flop of jack four three, two spades and a diamond. Good flop, checks to me. I see bet 70, and both players call, so definitely a bit concerned. Turn comes an eight of diamonds, so I pick up backdoor equity. I got 525 left, and I am the effective stack. When Big Blind checks, I choose to check as well. Button bets 175. Big Blind goes into the tank for a while before putting in the call. With my 525 stack, I don't really like jamming here. I mean, I guess I get a call from spades, but with two other players in, it would seem that one of them should have a strong value hand. I call to try and realize. River comes, the ace of clubs. So unfortunately, don't get there. Big Blind jams for 500. I fold and button folds as well. The big blind claim to have a set. Next hand, there's a limp from early position. I raise a 25 from middle position with ace four of spades and I get three callers. We go to a flop of nine three deuce, two hearts and a spade. Decent flop with a gutter and backdoor spades. Checks to me, I fire 40 and only the early position player calls. Turn comes a three of clubs. When he checks, it's a decent card to leverage since I've got all the over pairs. He's got 350 back. I bet 140. He goes well into the tank before jamming. Feels like I ran into some Hollywood. I let it go. He does later tell me that he had pocket deuces. Following that string of bad hands, I request a table change and pick up pocket kings and the low jack at the new table and race to 20. Only the small blind calls. Flop comes queen eight deuce, two clubs and a heart. Checks to me. I see bet 25. He calls. Turn comes an ace of diamonds, pretty bad card. He checks, I check back. River comes a nine of spades. He bets 75 and I just can't really put him on any bluffs. And I don't expect a queen to bet for value. This may look soft, but I make the tight fold. Next hand, there are three limpers, small blind folds, and I'm in the big blind with ace queen off. I set the price to 40 to see a flop and I get calls from the low jack and the button. Three ways to a flop of ace jack four rainbow. Good flop, I see bet 70, low jack jams for 94, button calls, and I can't raise, so I call. Turn comes in eight of clubs, and my hand needs protection, so I bet 200, button gets out of the way, river comes, a three of diamonds, I table, and it's good as he shows, jack 10 off. Straddle is on in this next one, first to act limps, I raise the 45 from the hijack with ace king offsuit, 
only the straddler calls. Heads up to a flop of jack-10-8, two hearts and a club. It's a somewhat neutral board, and when he checks, I check back. Turn comes a 10 of spades. He bets 25 this time. Not going to fall for that price. I call. The river comes, a three of diamonds. He continues the aggression, 75 this time. Sizing seems pretty value-ish, but it feels pretty close. The draws do brick out, and after thinking it through, I put in the call. He tables, 6-7 off suit for 7 high. The hero play works out this time. Next hand, under the gun raises to 25. I call from the hijack with jack-9 of spades. The blinds call as well. Four ways to a flop of king-10-9, couple of hearts and a spade. Small blind checks. Big blind who's an active reg bets 45. Under the gun folds. I take one off. And small blind folds. Heads up to a turn of a queen of spades. Best card in the deck for me. He checks. I contemplate checking back but decide against it and bet 110 since the board is pretty wet. He tanks and ultimately folds. So no additional value but nice to make a good hand. A couple more to run through. There's a limp from under the gun. Low jack raises to 20. I call from the big line with queen jack off. Under the gun calls as well. Go to a flop of queen 8 4, couple of diamonds and a spade. Checks to the initial raiser in the low jack who bets 40. I call. Under the gun folds. Turn comes a 5 of hearts. I check. She continues the aggression, but for the same amount as the flop 40. I call again. River comes. And 8 of clubs. I check. And she knuckles back. I table. And it's good. Last hand, there are a couple of limps. I raise a 25 from the cutoff with pocket fives, and I get calls from the button and the two limpers. Flop comes ace, ace, seven, checks to me. I likely have the best hand, and betting will be for protection while also allowing me to maintain being in the driver's seat. I bet 35, and everyone folds. All right, that does it for the hands. Started the session at 9.30, and it's now 3.45 in the morning. Unfortunately, wasn't able to repeat a uh, win like I did in the last vlogging session. Uh, was stuck in the neighborhood of 1,200 at the worst point after some play bad and run bad in the beginning, but I did claw back a bit. No real big pass, but just grinded my way back up and ultimately booked a loss of 3.97. So in for 2,000, cashed out. 16.03 so uh, not a win still a loss but a bit of a moral victory I guess to uh, not let the beginning of the session tilt me and at least battle back for a more reasonable result. All right just a quick announcement to wrap up this video I'm going to be heading to Southern California from the 5th through the 10th I'll be spending a couple of days in Los Angeles the 5th through the 7th not sure if I'm going to get poker in during that period but if I do it'll likely be at one of the main properties being the commerce the bike, the gardens, one of those. And then the 7th through the 10th, there will be poker. I'm going to be playing the 1K, I think it's the MSPT main event at Saquon Casino in El Cajon. So hope to do some good things in poker. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next one.